Hello, Jason Heath here with Contrabass Conversations, bringing you a special episode about the first ever course for double bass in South Africa. And we are chatting today with Zanelle Britz, who's organizing this event. Very cool. She's bringing over Jeff Bradisage, Gudrun Roshan, Nick Scales, and they've got a bunch of students registered, probably more by the time this happens. It's going to be happening, the event, December 9th through 12th. And if you'd like to help out with making this event happen, you can go to givengain.com slash cc slash double bass. And yes, there is a link to that in the show notes. So I really hope you enjoy this conversation with Zanelle and me. And I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors. Not enough time to read out everybody's individual message, but I'd just like to give a quick shout out before we start to Upton Bass String Instrument Company, Steve Swan String Bass, D'Addario Strings, and Colstein Music. Here is our conversation with Zanel Britz. So super exciting that this is the first official double bass course in South Africa. So, so um, tell me just a little bit about the details, who's coming. There are people we, we both know, but yeah, tell me about this, this what sounds like a really exciting week that you got planned yes so i think double bass is not a huge thing in south africa um at the moment we've got uh, i think 18 participants and we're still waiting on a few more applications but the whole idea of the course it's called what it takes and it um the idea is to train these students in what it takes to be a professional bass player so in other words they will receive master classes lectures and um, just get a glimpse into the world of professional bass playing. Um, but I don't think, I think there are about one or two permanent music students in the whole country. Wow. So that, um, yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> when I was studying, um, I was doing a postgrad degree, I was also the only, only person studying bass at the time in the country. <laughs> so, um, we are also hoping that through this we will be able to get people excited about the base because, um, you know, when I went to the States last year and I attended the ISB and different um, uh, summer schools and master classes, I, my mind was blown by what people are doing on the double base. I literally did not know that all of that was possible, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> we're sort of limited to YouTube videos here. <laughs> um, so for me, I'm just so excited to see what, what Jeff and Nick and Gudrun will bring to this and will show the students what what is possible. Um, it's it's yeah. so exciting that you have those three people. And yeah, N Nick uh, Scales, uh, Gudrun Rasha, and Jeff Radisage, three amazing people. I, I, Je I consider Jeff one of my biggest influences. I got the chance to work with him over the years. And just what a, what a phenomenal player. And the same for Gudrun and Nick. And that's just so exciting. And that's so exciting that you were at ISB uh, there in Ithaca. Yeah. What, what, how, how on earth do you get to Ithaca, New York from Cape Town, <laughs> South Africa? That's probably not a direct flight. <laughs> Definitely not. You know, I actually drove up from Amarillo, Texas to Ithaca to attend that. <laughs> I was um, studying with Nick Scales for about for a month, and then I went up to the ISB. Um, and how I got to Nick was um, he, my teacher in Cape Town, Alex Pockens, he studied with Nick way back in the day. And that is how I got connected to, to him and then ended up visiting and going to the ISB and also to Kansas City with Johnny Hamill. And I did uh, Jeff Bradditch's workshop and just and even went to Alaska for their summer um, in, in Fairbanks. Well, their festival so it was quite an adventure <laughs> well and now you're bringing this back to uh, bringing this to south africa and i just c congratulate you on doing that that's so great i mean it, it just it takes somebody to actually get something like this going and then you get some momentum and it builds and builds and that's just so cool and and a lot of people listening that likely won't be able to make it out they should definitely check it out if they can but but they can also help support this because this is not a cheap thing to do to bring people over yeah. and you've got a campaign set up so definitely check out a link in the show notes uh and and you can help help make this 
happen and make this a reality and get the students there. Um, so definitely, definitely do that if you can. Oh, that would be amazing. So this course is actually part of the South African National Youth Orchestra. They are launching this whole project. So we are so fortunate that they asked um, us, it's me and Marichen Mayer who also studied um, with Jeff Bradditch. She did a doctor's degree, yeah, doctorate there. Um, so she's also back in Cape Town. It's wonderful to have her. And then also Roxanne Stefan, who's my colleague and the principal bass of the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra. So Sophia at the National Youth Orchestra asked the three of us if we could help her organize this thing. And that is also then me and Marichan thought it would be so nice to get the people that we know from the years A to come and help us out. And so that is sort of how this whole thing came to be. But the South African National Youth Orchestra is a non-profit organization, obviously, and relies on on funding and um, of people's relying on people's kind hearts <laughs> to make things happen <laughs> and to yeah to educate the students and give them a taste of real orchestra life. <laughs> Well, it's it's so cool that you got you've gotten a taste of these different bass festivals that 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 we have going on here in the states, and you know it's every every year I see new festivals start to appear in different parts of the world, and I just I I think it's so great that you're building something up there in South yeah. Africa. Uh, when I think of South Africa, the first name, and we chatted about this before we actually hit record, is Leon Bosch, of course, uh, who yes. I know comes back to the country. Uh, regularly originally from south africa you've had leon out there many times sounds like mm. yeah. yes and leon is now actually conducting the national youth orchestra so he went from being in the bass capacity i remember my first national youth orchestra that i did um leon was the double bass coach um Although I was playing cello at that stage, we had sectionals together with the basses, and I was just amazed by his work ethic. So, yeah, I've also seen him at the Chamber Festival and had a lesson with him, and it's just amazing to have him around. And he will also be around at the time of the course, um, and we will probably also use his expertise to, to teach some of the students as well. That's wonderful. Yeah. What a, what a phenomenal musician. Yeah. In addition to all these other people that you have involved, it sounds like a great faculty lineup. And I, I love, so you would play cello before bass. <laughs> yes. I, I have to admit that I think I played longer cello for longer than I've played the bass, but I made a complete switch and I haven't looked back. What? I love the bass. How, how, when, when did that happen? What prompted that switch? That's, I mean, I love the cello too, but that's great to have you in the bass world. What, what inspired you to move over to the bass? The lack of bassists in our country. <laughs> so I did a year of double bass, um, and then I switched back to cello again. And then somewhere along the way, somebody, there was an orchestra, and we were doing track six. And they had about one and a half basses. And, you know, it starts with the basses, that beautiful bass tune, and they just could not do it. And my heart was sore about that. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to the conductor, you know, I, I used to play bass, and it seems like they need basses. Does he want me to rather do, do bass? And he said, yes, please, we'll find you an instrument. We'll do it. Just please come and play bass. And suddenly I was just thrown into bass playing and uh, – as soon as people know you can play the bass, you, they need you for gigs and for orchestras and things. And, um, yeah, I just gained momentum. And then eventually I decided to, to actually go and do a post-grad degree in it and, you know, learn some proper technique. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, yeah, that also um, coming to the States and just improving again on technique and just learning more about the bass. So, yeah, I... Um, most people don't know that I play the cello. I still have my cello and I play it in church, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, um, yeah, tell, really tell people that. <laughs> okay. Well, very cool. And, and, and I'm, I'm so glad that you're orchestrating this event and helping to put together this event and, and so glad that you're out at ISB 2017. I hope you make it out to ISB 2019 in Bloomington. It'd be great to see you there. I'm uh, hoping. I'm okay. hoping. 
<laughs> okay, good. And, I said to you, Roxana Marifin, we need to make make a trip. We'll you know find the funds or something, but we need to make it happen. <laughs> Well, c- congratulations on this uh, on this uh, first official double base course and getting these great faculty over there and the students involved and uh, it, it's I just am so excited by seeing people start something up and do something for the international base community and for bases in their mm-hmm. home country. So I've, it's very, very cool. And I, I can't wait to see, uh, see the posts on Facebook from people who had a great Yay. time and see year number two and year number three for this double base course going forward. So thanks for yes. chatting and, and we'll, we'll get the word out and folks definitely uh, check. we got a link in the show notes to the uh, give and gain uh, website where you can learn about the event and if you can contribute anything to help make this happen, uh, that'd be super appreciated. Super, super appreciated. Thank you, Jason. Thank you yeah. so much for getting it out there and for being so amped with us for this. <laughs> I'm fully amped. <laughs> so, thank you. Uh, great chatting with you and and yeah, we'll get we'll get this out in the next week or so and and hopefully get Yay. some get some awareness and we'll share it out on Facebook, obviously, and everything. But this will be a fun little treat for people to hear it from you. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. We really appreciate this. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Hope to see you in person uh, in, you know, eight months or something it is. So. I don't know. Maybe you can come to the next course. I would love to. <laughs> can I we would do a live broadcast? To to, I would love to come to South <laughs> Africa and I would love to check it out. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Okay. You're on the list. Hey? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for chatting, Zanel. And it's so exciting to see events like this popping up all over the world. Congratulations and best wishes on this first event. And (laughs) I would love to go to South Africa and check out number two for sure. Folks, go help them out if you can. If you can spare a couple bucks, that would be greatly appreciated. The website is giveingain, G-I-V-E-N-G-A-I-N, giveingain.com slash CC slash double base. And of course, just go to the show notes and you can get that link. Contrabase Conversations is produced by Michael Cooper, Steve, Hinchy, Trevor Jones, and Mitch Mooring. If you're looking for a double bass, Mitch has got one for you. He makes beautiful instruments in the Dallas area. Learn more at MitchMooring.com. Thank you also to Krista Copper for cataloging and organizing all these topics. Super appreciated. And I am your host, Jason Heath. We will see you again soon for more life on the low end of the spectrum.